Get ready for a fresh compilation of the most breathtaking camera captured moments. Stick around until the end and you won't be disappointed. So let's get started. This video is made for educational purposes and contains significant original text commentary. When you see the railroad crossing gates come down, please stop. Don't try to beat a train because you will lose. If the power lines are down, assume they are live and dangerous. Stay at least 30 feet away and warn others to do the same. Approaching the intersection, both should slow down because the light had turned yellow. This happened on the Moscow Ring Road July 13, 2013, around 1700. No one was hurt. Whoops! Avoid lingering in the blind spot areas to minimize the risk of incident, guys. If no one is injured, you are required to pull over to the side of the road safely, folks. Oh my god, we just got hit too. Please do not pull out in front of truck drivers and give truck drivers the space they need to get your groceries and items to where they need to be. Fortunately, there was no oncoming vehicle. He is okay. Stay alert on black ice, man. At least no one was injured. Even if you have experience driving in the winter conditions, avoid overconfidence. Each situation is unique. would rather do the reverse of shame than risk others' lives around me by going through with it. Now, oh, <laughs> The other driver had ignored all attempts by this dash cam owner's insurance company in contact. Hopefully everyone carries sufficient liability limits on your policy to protect yourselves. Regular tire inspections, proper tire inflation, and careful driving in adverse weather conditions are crucial for preventing hydroplaning incidents. Remember, guys. Nice Lamborghini Aventador. This happened at 8413 Reading Road, Ohio on January 25th, 2024. No, dude was texting most likely. Stay alert, man. A Michigan State Police chase with a Dodge Charger that started on 8 Mile in Detroit and hit 130 miles per hour ended almost 30 miles later as the stolen car ran out of gas. I'm quite curious about what transpired behind. Hope they are fine.
This incident was caused by a suspected DUI driver on I-85 North in Buckhead. Don't drink and drive, guys. Oh, lightning quick reaction by the driver. At this speed, a little force in the wrong place can make all the difference. Man, don't switch lanes twice in one go. Luckily, it did not hit any vehicles, especially motorcyclists. If dash cams caught the plates, both the company and the driver will be fined heavily. Whoops! At least he purposely went into the ditch so he didn't rear-end anyone. Hope he pays more attention. A vehicle in Tainan lost control when cornering and ran into a traffic lane, hitting two cars. You're not going to get somewhere faster by running a red light, dude. That is too close. It is good that there were no collisions. Looks like he sped off to try to avoid an insurance claim. Glad the driver had a dash cam. Hopefully his insurance holds him to account. Not every time. Dumbass. The Nissan Altima was pulling out from the Dunkin' Donuts parking lot and neglected to check for oncoming traffic. Very close call. Hey bro, if it's legal to make a U-turn then go ahead, but be in the spot closer to the curb and not the farther side on the left. This happened at Golden West in Westminster. Everyone is alright. There was no reason to pass as the lane before him was clear for nearly a mile and no oncoming traffic. Do not imitate this truck. Whoops, not usually a good idea to avoid those construction signs, mate. Drive carefully, guys. Given that safety comes first, I believe I'll let them pass. Remember, truckers, the truck's center of gravity was relatively high, so you should maintain a safe speed to avoid shifting the center of gravity when braking. Adjust your driving speed and techniques based on weather conditions. Never undervalue the wet roads. I always hold a distance like a black Mercedes, and it shows that you have nothing to fear in such a situation. You break down calmly and without any danger. Careful, mate. Wow, excellent truck driver. Hope all of them are safe. No, how could he have left the scene? Hope the police locate him soon. Oops, I hope everyone gets resolved. At least no one was in the car at the time. Bravo. Good job, bro. He didn't entirely drift or stay off the road.
Good luck to the other drivers. Luckily, no innocent cars were involved. Truly, everyone fights for their life every time they're there. Oops, maybe he was on his phone and it was too late to change lanes. Pay attention, mate. No, never passing in a no passing zone, especially on a curve. This is the same case. No one was injured. I guess this guy will have his driver's license revoked. Do not imitate this. Stay safe out there, folks. Luckily, no one was hurt. Black ice. Glad he's okay. Oh my. Thankfully, there were no injuries. No, man, don't run a red light, please. Oh, my God. Got on camera. Did she run the red light? Oh my god! You can see the police in Los Angeles were in pursuit of a driver after the Jeep he was driving was suspected to be stolen. The Jeep is eventually cornered and the driver is taken into custody. Fortunately, the driver behind the truck applied an emergency brake and no further damage was caused. Heavens, that's so close. It's good to see that the driver is okay. Who's at fault in this case? Let me know your opinions in the comments below. Whoops! I've watched this several times and can't figure out how or why he even did that. Black ice, maybe? Maybe strong winds. Drive cautiously on rainy days, folks. Hey man, don't do that. Turn on turn signals and look over the shoulder, please. Oh, 
Hmm, there's a solid yellow line here. That car shouldn't be passing at all. This just happened to me yesterday. Fortunately, I was alert. This is the scene LAPD officers pursued a suspected car thief, who eventually fled on foot into a building in Los Angeles on January 19, 2024. What? Don't do that, guy. How can these people pass the DMV practice test? Whoops! You should keep your distance or overtake him as soon as possible. Keep your eyes on the road, bro. There are some real craptastic intersections out there but it's totally the trucker's responsibility to be clear of the tracks. And the same is true of any vehicle driver. Wow, seeing rail tracks act like a rubber band is really an earring. Nobody got hurt. in the Greek context that was troubling a lot of people. Yeah, I mean, it, the, one of the, the really nice things to see in Greece was that there was this... Car driver decides to not exit the roundabout at the last second, giving him almost no reaction time. Glad he's okay. This incident happened in Beavertown, Oregon, on Murray Boulevard and Sexton Mount Drive. No one has serious injuries. Oh, oh my. Uh, wow. Should I, I offer help? help? Uh, yeah, I'll call 911. Oh, be careful on wet roads, guys. Always drive cautiously and according to the weather conditions. Oh my, speeding fellas does not account for stop and go traffic and 18 wheeler blind spots. Do not imitate this.
Well, someone's insurance company really hates them right now. Thankfully, everyone is okay. Let's like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our next videos, guys. If you enjoy our video, leave a comment below with number one. Whoops, he's driving on a road not designed for semi-truck traffic. Luckily, there were no pedestrians. Let's subscribe, like, and hope the next video involves less collision. Oops, this driver was running late for the car show for their business. Now he was really late. That is scary. Good luck that he was already switching lanes. Gotta be kidding me. You back up at full speed towards an obvious structure behind you? Hey folks, let this be a lesson in what not to do on the road. Following way too close for a semi, obviously he thought it handled like a sports car. Oh my, in snow conditions, double your following distance. It's like adding an extra layer of protection against slippery surprises. The guy behind that wheel doesn't realize how risky it is for the public himself and the road. At least all of them are safe. Oh no, a common occurrence on the motorways. They believe they have the right of way when they exit a slip road, but it didn't. This is the moment the police chase a tractor down on a highway, Surrey, in British Columbia. Holy <gasps> This is scary. He was driving to work when what seemed to them like a hood strut smashed into the car's windshield. I'm researching Tesla. I'm not sure if its motor is in good condition. Ah, thank you. That's a bad idea for someone who decided to drive drunk. Man, reversing without a care in the world is just asking for trouble. It's like basic driving 101, you know? Maybe I'm not used to driving on snowy roads, but doesn't this seem a bit fast? Good gracious, what is he doing? It's like someone forgot the basic rule of the road. Don't park on the train tracks. When people miss this absurdity, I often wonder if it's a medical issue rather than cell phone use. What a nightmare. I truly thought that this semi was going to roll on him. Glad he's okay. Slow down before entering the curve. Breaking mid-turn can lead to such a situation. Is this the meaning of born with a shirt? There's an instant mix of concern and frustration, right? Oh my, this video is a collision course in intersection etiquette for some folks. Drama's better left for the movies. Really? How can one be so oblivious to surroundings when you're driving such a massive box of metal? A lane switch at the worst moment through the road choreography into disarray. Choose your moves wisely.
Drivers at this corner tend to focus on the traffic from the left and neglect checking what's on the right-hand side. This is why we should have a rear-facing camera. Oof, that intersection on a Sunday afternoon is not a place to take chances. Oh my, they thought the icy roads were their personal racetrack. Good luck, the driver wasn't going in the opposite direction where the tree is thicker. Everyone, serious question, does something like this usually result in the suspension or loss of the driver's CDL? This truck was going on to the lift after an oil change, so they could rotate tires when a ball joint broke while reversing it. This caused the front tire to slump. After obtaining the driver's license, there is no need to go back to training for two years to take the written test and road test again, so it's not surprising that this happens. The truck driver is forced to put his weight on the brake pedal, making steering into another lane near impossible. Justice is often late, but this time it was not absent. Whoops, it's like someone took a wrong turn into Chaos Central. Well, ain't that the classic show off gone wrong move? Drift responsibly, folks. No, is this the quality of the American today? Hmm, this is why there are really many taxis that are disliked wherever they go. Do you think the truck's at fault? The car was already there. The truck had enough time to stop. Well, Taiwan's traffic is nothing you can't imagine. Steer tire blowouts are no joke. Glad he made it out alright. Oops, I bet he didn't see the sign that said, the lane closed 5 miles ahead. Well, when the invoice is coming and you live on your own. Remember folks, by fostering a culture of responsible driving, you contribute to safer roads for everyone. The pursuit reached its climax when the officer employed a pit maneuver. Finally, a coordinated effort by the police successfully halted the suspect's escape. Right. Pull over if you're feeling drowsiness. It's better to arrive late than never. The four-wheeler shouldn't have proceeded into the intersection until it was clear the rig was stopped. Poor judgment on his part as well. Could have cost him his life. I don't think he was going to be able to move it by himself and probably also not fix the situation. Hope he called for help. I guess the blue car has the right of way, but just be a little more patient, mate. A sleepy driver collided with semi-truck. Most people underestimate fatigue or tiredness. Oops, the truck driver clearly didn't check his blind spot. 
Glad there were no collisions. No, this occurred on a street in Russia. Remember, the streets are for cruising, not for colliding. And this is the same situation. A Penske rental truck got wedged under the 11-foot-8 bridge. It took an hour to get it out, probably by letting the air out of the tires. The truck signal was to the left. Why did he go to the right? The blue car suddenly pulled out of the road right at the intersection, leading the white car to sideswipe it. But wait, the SUV chose a dramatic exit, fleeing the scene as if taking its cue from a collide and flee script. Both are to blame in this mess. Remember folks, tracks are for trains, not parking spaces. And this is the same situation. Glad no one was hurt. Classic recipe for collision. Hope everyone involved learned a lesson. Glad no one was hurt. No, looks like there might have been a truck with a flatbed trailer of some kind in front of the silver SUV. I assume it came from that. Oh wow, this dash cam caught a three vehicle collision within 24 hours of installation. Oh my, when steering a tractor through the bends, turn wider to give yourself a little more room. Oh dear, I think big rigs should have cameras on the side and at the rear so we can see what started the whole thing. an unpredictability out there. Glad no one was hurt. I mean, seriously, how do you manage to tag a pole when it's just you and the open road? He was going too fast and had to ditch. Whoops, a rogue license plate on the highway. Glad it has just some long scuffs. That buffed out nicely. Did you mistake the highway for a bowling lane? This is a typical situation where you only look in the rearview mirror without turning your head to look. I never understood why people pull that crap. So many truck drivers have cameras now. Thank you for watching videos from start to finish. Share your favorite moment in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, please show your appreciation by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. See you next video.